Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. BertieBlue.com.au. Shop anywhere, anytime. SAFM News Briefing. Afternoon, it's Andrew Shaw with your local news briefing. Promising signs after Lifeblood lifted a ban on UK blood and plasma donors a little over a year ago amid easing concerns over the potential for spread of mad cow disease. Before last year, people who lived in the UK between 1980 and 96 were unable to give blood due to the risk of transferring the illness. And since the ban was lifted, South Australian blood donation centres have seen a sharp uptick in UK donors. Lifeblood's calf stones as many people may still not realise they're eligible to donate. So we're asking if you lived uh, or worked in the UK between 1980 and 1996 and you haven't yet realised you can donate to check your eligibility with us and make an appointment. Now Gambia's next pop-up donation centre will be held towards the end of October. The Education Union insists its dispute with the state government isn't only over pay, as Limestone Coast public school teachers prepare to walk off the job this Friday. And President Andrew Gohl says his members are also worried about a staff shortage, with more than 30,000 students statewide not having access to a regular teacher. There are classes running at the moment for whom there are no teachers. Why are there no teachers? Because the teaching conditions at the moment are so difficult and the workload is so significant that people can only survive by taking hours of work home every Every night. South East Police have had a busy few days, a number of drivers being stripped of their licences after allegedly drink driving. One such alleged incident saw a man reportedly crash into Scrub in Millicent with a 9 and 11 year old in the car. And a number of large South Australian organisations have formed a new working group looking to help the state on its way to a zero carbon emissions future by 2050. The SA Zero group includes organisations like the REA, the CSIRO, the Commonwealth Bank and even BHP and looks at how they can contribute. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. <laughs> Take the Pepsi Max Taste Challenge. Gabby's Netball Association seniors are getting to the business end of the season. The first round of finals wrapping up with some interesting results. The Hobbits have won their way through to the grand final after a win over Intruders, while the Saints will take on Intruders this weekend. Join the community that helps make wishes come true. Visit makeawish.org.au to make your donation today. That's makeawish.org.au. Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM weather. The rest of Tuesday across the limestone coast, some showers moving in down to a low of 8 degrees tonight. Then tomorrow, showers easing and a top of 14 degrees. And from car trips to meal times to bedtime, Listener offers audio entertainment kids love. Download the Listener app now and listen for free. <laughs>